I'm at the Welcome Center at Jefferson Memorial Forest getting ready to start my hike. I'm going to hike to Mitchell Hill Lake and then on to the Huron Reservation. It's a beautiful morning for hiking. Here's some geese in the background. The trails are in great shape as always. You don't have much of a view this time of year with the leaves on the trees. It is still very calm and peaceful. Wildflowers. On the trail. Just past the Yost Ridge Trail, trail marker Y2. Now I'm on my way to Mitchell Hill Lake, trail marker H15. And then I'll make that loop and then hike on to the Huron Reservation, hike around that area some. Then turn around and come back. I plan on hiking about six miles this morning. I know I've said it before, but I love the trails at Jefferson Memorial Forest. I'm approaching trail marker H15. I'm going to hike down to Mitchell Hill Lake, make this big loop. When I finish the loop around Mitchell Hill Lake, I'll end up at trail marker H10. Made it down to Mitchell Hill Lake. I don't see any ducks or geese yet. There are two mallard ducks at the end of the lake. A male and a female. Now where'd that female go? She's over there somewhere. A while back I found a mama Canadian goose sitting on her eggs in this area. But boy, did she pick a bad spot. I think the nest was right where that tree fell. I'm passing the small pond next to Mitchell Hill Lake. Frog just jumped in the water. See the mallard ducks swimming around. Hopefully they won't fly off when they see me.
There's the female. And there's the male. There's a bunch of red-winged blackbirds in this area. That's a male red-winged blackbird. This is where the females nest. There go the mallard ducks. Isn't the lake beautiful this morning? I don't see any of the females this morning, but I know they're in there. I just heard one. There's another male. Yeah, he just flew off. There's another male red-winged blackbird. That red is really showing up. There's the two ducks over there. More beautiful wildflowers. Another red winged blackbird. A male. This one's putting on a show right in front of me. There goes the mallard ducks again. That sun is very bright this morning. Guess they're headed down to the other end of the lake. There they go. See a lot of fish swimming around in the lake. Females must be sitting on their eggs. I haven't seen a female this morning. The geese don't have any luck nesting at Mitchell Hill Lake. Something keeps getting to the nest. So they nest over here on this private property. There's a goose over there. There's two more geese over there. One's making a lot of noise.
There's some more geese. This is the overflow from Mitchell Hill Lake that feeds that other lake on that's on the private property. I think the geese just love this field down here. They're fun to watch. They're in the lake now. They just chased this one off. For some reason they don't like him or her. It's a nice lake. I'm gonna head back to Mitchell Hill Lake now. This is the gate to Mitchell Hill Lake. Wish some of those geese would fly over to Mitchell Hill Lake. I'm back at Mitchell Hill Lake. I'm leaving Mitchell Hill Lake now. Some kind of a film on the lake down here. Not sure what that is. Up, up I go.
I'm getting close to trail marker H10. I finished the loop around Mitchell Hill Lake. I'm at trail marker H10 now. I'm going to go hike around the Haran Reservation a little bit. As you can see, the views are obstructed by the leaves on the trees. Getting ready to pass the Haran Conference Center. Just past the Haran Conference Center. Looks like they had a big tree down here. Now I'm gonna hike back in this area. See if I can find anything interesting. I see some beautiful ground cover in this area. Bunch of small daisies. This is the first time I've seen geese at Jenna's Pond. I've seen mallard ducks here before. I'm walking around Shannon's Pond. I guess I got too close to them. I wonder if the eastern bluebirds are still here. Haven't seen any yet. You can always tell when geese are in the area. They leave a mess behind. There's a eastern newt. This one's posing for me. Here's another one on the other side. There it is. This pond is full of eastern newts and frogs. Water is pretty clear today.
There's another one right next to it. Ooh, and another one. There's three of them. Here's another one. Well, that's enough Easter newts. The Eastern bluebirds are gone. It was fun watching them while they were here. I'll close it up now. It's always a nail that holds the door shut. I'm leaving Shannon's Pond. I'm headed back to the Welcome Center. This is where I found a ripe May apple last year. And hopefully I'll find another one this year. That fruit will get a lot larger and turn yellow and then fall off the vine. That's when it's ready to eat. Here's another one. And another one. May apples all over the place. Another bloom. The blooms are always under the leaves. cut through here get back on the trail one thing you always have to remember about the may apples if you're going to eat them they're poisonous when they're not ripe and you never eat the seeds or the skin the eastern box turtles love the may apples when they're ripe so if you want to eat a ripened may apple you better get to it before the turtles do I just heard something moving over there it was a deer it's probably long gone now this is where I heard it back here but I'm sure it's long gone it probably ran off down there and I don't feel like exploring today. So I'm going to head back up this hill and head down to the trail. Just saw one over there. Well, I tried to find it, but I give up now. They can get away from you so fast. I'm going to turn around and go back. I didn't find that deer, but it was fun trying. Now this is where you could get lost if you didn't know your way around. Fortunately, I know my way around. I found the trail. Now on to the Welcome Center. I'm passing trail marker H15. 
on my way to the welcome center. I'm passing the Yolster Ridge Trail, trail marker Y2, on my way to the welcome center. That's the Yolster Ridge Trail going that way. So far I've hiked a little over five miles. When I started my hike I said I was going to try to hike about six miles. Let's see how close I get. This area right here is very calm and peaceful. A lot of birds singing. I'm passing the old zip lines. COVID shut them down. Hopefully someday they'll reopen more of the zip line course. And there's the welcome center down there. I'm at the Welcome Center and there is the parking lot and my car down there. It's time for me to go home.